All right, guys, this is a quick time lapse of the fairing removal and uh, a couple little videos snuck in here as well. But uh, I just kind of want to document the process of taking this off. This isn't really an instructional video. There is actually an instructional video out there on removing parts of the um, fairing pieces, like this side piece. There's a really good uh, instructional video on how to do that out there. Um, that's about as far as people go because um, there are some cases where you need to take those side cases off, uh, check your radiator fluid, things like that. But uh, all I can say is there's a, a million little clips <laughs> and uh, take your time and you, know, you pull one clip off. You got to pull a the fairing forward. You've got to pull it backwards. There's just a ton of things you got to do to get these fairings off. Um, most of it's pretty straightforward, but uh, um, it's definitely the right thing to do to uh, take your time. Uh, there's also uh, a few extra tools you might need. So as I'm pulling this uh, front fender off, there's actually two riveted uh, pieces on there that hold the brake lines in place. And uh, you'll have to have a, like a Dremel, something like that, to uh, uh, get out the original rivets and then a rivet gun to put in a couple of new aluminum rivets because that's what they take uh, and then really most of the fasteners are a five um, millimeter hex head uh, there you need a eight millimeter uh, socket and a 10 millimeter socket uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, that's about it uh, you know I think you it, for a couple of the clips having a small screwdriver certainly helps uh, just to pop in the little pop rivets on the uh, on the clips um, this front section was quite a uh, quite a chore. Just trying to figure out which pieces had to come off, and uh, I wasn't actually I hadn't even really unboxed all the fairing pieces yet. So I was like, uh, I don't know if those top pieces come with it or not. So I kind of left it on. Now I'm just kind of cleaning the bike. Good chance to clean any of the dust off from inside the uh, where the fairing you know covers up, just to keep it a little bit cleaner. All right, so uh, mirrors. Mirrors time. And we got new mirrors for the bike. As you recall, the last ones didn't match with one black and one uh, silver. So now we will have, hopefully, two carbon fiber mirrors. And I think those will go nicely with the white. That looks good. Okay, that's that. I need to unbox the uh, the fairings for real. In the end, I realized, yeah, I do have to. All the pieces came with the uh, fairing, so they redid every one of them. So there's, it's all white, and uh, it's black. The uh, hard parts of doing these fairings, so the time consuming part is all these little foam pieces need to go in the new fairings, otherwise they can uh, vibrate uh, or rattle, just don't feel as solid. And so you're going to spend a couple of hours probably going through with a razor blade and slowly pulling back and slicing right the glue line with the razor blade or you can look at sourcing new foam <laughs> which would seem easier but it's not something you'll remember so most people just put these things on without them and it's fine but they do vibrate a little tiny bit um, and uh, these add a little bit of sound insulation and uh, uh, sound deadening as well. So I think it's uh, worthwhile pulling all the pieces off and uh, replacing them in each section, like with the new piece here. That actually is really important to have these because it keeps the uh, windshield from vibrating at all. Um, it just adds a little bit more dampening. All right, onto that. I've got all the parts to pull all the little foam pieces off. So it's actually going back together now, and I lost some of the footage for some reason. Uh, the 
footage for me putting on those rear sections, which is no big deal. There's only a couple little screws that hold those on anyways. Um, those little plastic pieces in the back. And I've already got the uh, windscreen on and that front piece on that you really can't see from this angle anyways. One of the things you just saw me do is check the turn signals that are in the mirrors. When you're putting the mirrors on, you're taking them back off if you were to not check the connection to make sure that connections are properly seated and actually the the blinkers work you may be pulling the thing apart again so it's real important to check those uh, those blinkers and then you just kind of leave it hanging there while you're uh, lining everything else up and then uh, things start to come back there there's like I, put, I don't know how many fasteners are in that there's probably 15 20 little fasteners where the fairing goes into the next piece of the fairing the top piece the lower piece there's a little skirt in there, an inner part of the fairing, and they all have to intersect and connect. I'm going to realize here in a second that uh, I actually need to put on the other side of that uh, tank case before I can uh, put this piece on. So I'll just let it dangle there here in a second and go get that piece and put it on. <laughs> but it's coming together and it's starting to look like, uh, look like a motorcycle again, which is pretty cool. Here we go. We'll get those fairings back on there. I think the last couple of pieces is that... Uh, rear valance that goes underneath it. We'll, uh, we'll grab that here in a second. Hopefully I've got footage of that. And then uh, the main part of the tank that goes over the top of the tank um, is uh, uh, remained. So I actually was wondering if I'd have to replace that piece or not, but that stayed the same. So my tank pads all stayed with the bike. And here comes that balance piece and it is just about done. Gotta put that seat on though. All right, well, after pretty much a full day, <laughs> we've got the fairings on the bike, and the bike is no longer red, it is white. This is the full sort of walk around of the bike. We've even got the Honda emblems back on. Carbon fiber mirrors, and uh, so, so lots of little things that uh, come up. You've got to have a rivet gun to rivet back on the little connectors for the uh, these little pieces right here get riveted on, um, and lots of little tiny connectors to get these fairings to line up properly. It's uh, it is an all day job, that's for sure, but. Uh, I'm happy with the looks. I think it looks pretty dang awesome. Very unique and uh, not like others. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up this video. Here's what that finished product looks like. I'm going to do a photo shoot of this motorcycle so we can take a better look at it, get some good photos of it, uh, and I'll do sort of a wrap-up of what the process was like at that time. So if you want to get notified of that, hit that little bell icon. If you can, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't do much except for it gets other people so they can see these videos as well and help promote my videos. Thank you very much.